During the season of Lent, we keep our triptych panel in Verona closed. And, and that symbolizes a number of things for us, but I want to focus today on the cross. That's really what it helps us focus on, is this cross. And that cross helps us to answer a very important question, especially the way this one is designed. That question is this, how do I know God loves me? Maybe, maybe you know the feeling, how, how can I be sure God really loves me if, if you only knew the things that I've done? If you only know what's gone on in my head and the battles I've raged and waged against myself, how do I know God really loves me? That's where this cross is helpful in explaining just that, because you see, it actually points in four directions here, it looks up and down and right and left, that's meant to symbolize that, that the cross spreads all over the world. It, it is, part of it is the symbolism that, that the gospel knows no bounds. It goes north and south and east and west, and yes, I know up and down and north and south, right and left, east and west are not the same. But Jesus' cross covers all that territory. As far as east and west go, as far as right and left go, as far as up and down go, as far as north and south go. God's love is there. How do we know God loves us? That tells us in his word. God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How do we know God loves us? Jesus died for us. The cross is the sure reminder. Jesus died for me. God loves you. You can be sure. While we were still sinners, Jesus died for sinners. You and me. No matter how bad. That's exactly why he died. To save sinners. God loves you.